So, it's uh, that bad, huh? Yes, as you can see, Retro has been going through a lot for this upcoming review, as it's now in effect, by the way. Uh, thank you for the, your subscribers, as usual. Oh, and speaking of, can we just get to 500 already? <clears throat> right, back to business. Um, yeah, I don't know how to say this nicely. It's one of those few franchises he barely knows, and he's kind of freaking out over the last several well, days since the uh, binge, so... Gonna have to leave this to you. Uh, yeah, cool. And, um, hey, everybody, Corsair here. It's if one part of the real nerf of Star Jammers. Still not a thing. Yeah, and, uh, I'm taking a break from, uh, helping out in the, uh, was it the Iraqo Civil War? What the hell is going on in Mars? You really don't want to know. It's really the oldest problem. Yeah, they're really called that? It's, it's just like, I know we've had, like, mutant liberation for wannabes, but, like, seriously, are they really, like, Going on flower gimmick? Do they know how to like that is scientifically a mutation of their own? Yeah, they're kind of idiots like that. Yeah, I could tell. All right, look, I I can pretty much handle it from here. And uh, oh, he's talking to one of a dead splinter from the regeneration chamber. Uh, did I get the name right? Regeneration from the five. But yes, um, he has a weird theory that old him is still alive. It's kind of a thing. I know you're in there. I know you're helping a hope in some way. You have to tell me. Just, just tell me what the, what to do. Is this part of the plan? Did, did, did it really happen? Did it? Oh, oh ha. hi everybody. This is this is Retro Kira Hughes and uh, Corsair. What the hell are you doing here? Yeah, kid. I'm just gonna come right out and say it. You good? Like you okay, Retro? Uh, <laughs> no, I'm I'm totally fine, Corsair. Hey, hey, hey. This is almost you know. Uh, grandson-in-law behavior, okay, dude? Wait, are you embracing your age? No. Uh, look, I, look, we all miss hope. We all miss the 250,000 of us. Wait, 250k? How the hell? It was a really... It was a really bad time in the gala. Cards had a lead-up, if anyone wants to remember. It, yeah, um... Corsa, can I have the room for a minute? You, you've had the room here for, like, a week, what Emma told me, and this is all your current forms. What happened to your past stuff? What happened to, like, the, you know, the space marine thing? Spartan armor and and, and the uh, and like that dark armor kind of stuff. Literally Spartan. Do you know anything about my lore? I mean, I kind of skimmed it from what uh, Scott has said to me. Oh my god. Oh, by the way, is it true he got captured again? Because I got like twenty quid down. Uh, I don't know. Coaxian on Shiar Space says that he's probably gonna get out within a week. It's been ten weeks. I mean, a week in space time could be like a year, so you know, don't rig the damn gamba. You know what you're saying. Oh, well, we're using Twitch speak. Thanks, Emma. That's so nice. Okay, so, um, you're all are probably why I'm just stick to current figure forms, because, well, one, uh, a Tumblr poll just, uh, opened, uh, later this last week, probably when this recording drops on Monday or whatever. And, uh, long story short, um, yeah, we're going to be doing a top five uh, figure forms throughout the channel for uh, 500 subs. And you are leading on. To, can you just get to what you are going to review, seriously? Or do I got to bring him here? Wait, he's here? What do what, 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 what you mean? Hey, uh, I got some guys for you. Oh, yeah, yeah, send it in, Marv. Wait, Marv? Ah! We are the children of Orchis and we will fight. Yeah, hang on a sec. Rider kick! Um, oh, okay. Oh, wow. You're really here. Yeah, I'm really here. And uh, you owed me a SH figure. Remember that, right? Yeah, yeah. Also, um, am I at, like that short style? You're not a jury from Vulture's Gate. Trust me, you're nowhere near that, Marv. Good. All right, so you know who I am. You know what I've done. And uh, you know the last couple of episodes I used to be with uh, Retro's old channel or... Is this still the current channel? Yeah, this is still the current channel. You didn't change it up? Yeah, okay, whatever. Look, long story short, we get it. You're not a fan. You never were. And now all of a sudden, how do I say this nicely to your audience before we get to this review? Yeah, One Piece broke the anime curse and you're just like, how did you do it? No, seriously, how did you do it? How did you do it? So I didn't taser it. Yeah, I didn't taser them either. You have telekinetics for that? I mean, kind of, sort of. I don't know. Right, so am I going to be here while... You, you, are, you are both capable lads for this job. Of course, I have to mess it up. Yeah, got it. No problem. <sighs> okay. 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 Oh, boy. Okay, so 
let's uh, get to the obvious here. Corsair, uh, your your initial thoughts on the uh, One Piece uh, live action anime? Eh, I don't know. It could be better. It could be worse. Eight episodes, uh, hour long. Uh, it's more of a speed run from the uh, I guess the first arc. So, am, am I saying the anime term right, Retro? Yes, you are. But before. We get to my initial thoughts. Let's let's talk about the uh, shonen anime itself. It's due, and I'm just gonna just dehension here because this is gonna take a while to explain. Um, yeah, let's uh, talk about the longest running shonen anime from Oda himself, uh, One Piece. I didn't grow up with One Piece. Yeah, I'm kind of starting showing my age here, but I did saw the, most of the big arcs and highlights and in passing and. More importantly, uh, when we get to, I guess, the later characters in this review, uh, yeah, Kobe here, played by uh, Morgan Davis. I've been meaning to talk about him and uh, his early work earlier this year with um, uh, 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 the latest uh, Evil Dead, uh, Evil Dead Rise, I think, and I thought it was a really good uh, entry into the franchise. It pretty much proved that it will definitely be, you know, its own anthology series someday. It's not the sequel to the remake, if anyone was asking, so, um, yeah, uh, back to talking about oh dear lord jeffrey wright's uh buggy i thought it was hot topic he has all held the costuming and apparently in the actual show itself and what anime fans have basically screamed about on tumblr and probably twitter also or whatever the hell x is gonna be called next and said that no he actually got the character down seriously the, the last time i saw this dude he was in a agents of shield being a time displaced character and Whatever the hell the lore was in the last few seasons of that. And you mean to tell me that this guy did it? This guy got the character right. And also probably had like a lazy way to like hype himself up for season two for future arcs. Also, I'm seeing anime arcs that are going to be adapted to a Netflix adaptation. Do you see how weird this is to me? So uh, let's start off at the top. Uh, UK Wise, uh, my bad if I got his name wrong, and I totally did. Uh, Yuka Gotti, uh, is apparently the best uh, representation of live action Luffy you're ever gonna get. Um, my uh, my knowledge of Luffy as a anime pro tag is pretty much as uh, the invincible level of uh, I respect the guy. I, I I'm outside looking in, respecting the fan base. What I didn't know, and what nobody told me, um, I don't know. Not a thing about really uh, Emma Rod's uh, Nami over here. She actually did a pretty good job in the last few episodes of the season. No, you nobody told me that uh, Zoro's uh, character uh, actor over here is the freaking son. And I'm sorry for Men Menok Zoro if I got your name right. Um, of Sony Goddamn Chiba, aka the one half dude who hanged out with oh I don't know Kenji Mother Freaking Oba. Like 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 what was this? We're, we're looking at we're looking at this dude from Kill Bill. Got a son, and was in uh yeah that Knights of the Zodiac uh, adaptation. So basically, this dude here just got a win, and he was in two live action anime adaptations this year, and one of them ended up being good. Also, he was in the Rioni Kenshin movies, and I gotta get around to doing a, a retro review for. It. And oh, by the way, since Marv's here, <coughs> go guys, change. You finally made your own OC writer. I'm kind of proud of you. No, I got this from Ken. They're not really using it. The Masters organization was very generous. And you're mooching off rich guys as usual. Fighter rich guys. Guys that would actually fight. Not that, not that Elon shit. All right. I don't believe it when I see it. Thanks, Marv, as usual. Anyway, so my overall thoughts for the season. Um, It's actually good. Uh, I mean, for eight episodes, I got the gist of, like, their opening East Blue arc. Um, Yusef clearly needs to get his afro for season two. I know that. That's been, like, the point of contention for most of uh, his side of the fan base's fans. And I pretty much have been intimidated to talk about this review, mainly because, again, I guess to put it in mainstream terms, One Piece is kind of like the T-Swift uh, fan base of anime shonen uh, fans because... They are literally ride or die with this manga and a anime. Like, the anime is literally over a thousand episodes as of this recording. And I am legitimately worried that I'm going to, like, just suck into it kind of like how I did with Critical Role. With Critical Role, I kind of knew people coming in. I kind of knew some of the voice actors. I knew their lives, you know, being voice actors before going into it. With One Piece, this is a whole different beast. Like, something about this is just going to say, hey, I'm going to find my top five favorite arcs within, like, a year. Speaking of my favorite character... 
No, it's not Buggy. No, I wish it were Zoro. It was actually their cook. Again, I think it's Shinji, if I got his name right. My bad in advance if I got it wrong. Again, you could tell I'm new to the franchise. Um, Everything about him just screams like, what if the bear was an anime adaptation? I don't know. I know he's done probably cooler stuff in the arc, and yeah, his kicks just immediately gave me, like, Kamara vibes. Again, knowing my dumb luck, I will find ways to bring Toku into anything in a review. This is kind of like the standard for retro kid reviews as like a mission statement for the channel as as we were going to be going on forward. So that being said, um, for eight episodes, uh, it got the point across with the opening arc, so I'll give it that. Uh, for Shakes and... Uh, uh, damn it, I had his name. Um damn hang on okay the the villain of the arc i again my bad i don't know again in case you did arlon there we go um looked pretty good uh shakes apparently was mixy pillock from cw supergirl so yeah apparently uh everybody here needed to win don't know what arlon's then but from what i've heard from anime fans they were worried that the nose are gonna be a little like hot topic like uh, cosplay um cringe honestly um no it turns out uh, on the last half of the season he basically carried it and uh, I also found out, I think through Dan Merle, uh, on his review of the show, uh, that a lot of people from, uh, Six Feet Under, uh, helped write and basically cast literally everything here, and whoever are the showrunners for this, I'm gonna get their names probably when season two drops next year, uh, good on you for finally breaking the anime curse, I, I didn't think I'd live to see it personally, but also, a lot of things happened, uh, these last couple of months, and it kind of res rem reminds me of, uh, I guess, a certain other uh, bad anime adaptation before Netflix was a thing. Dragon Ball Evolution. Uh, th this is me bringing my personal nostalgia of the first, or I guess my first, uh, I guess, public uh, uh, mainstream of uh, the Rider of Strike back then. So, long story short, that was happening because of, D I think, DVD distributions and, like, uh, DVR rights, and mostly what we, what they got to have nowadays is as far as basic cable goes. However, during that time, they were pitching literally everything under the sun, one of which they had to do because they had no writers and were taking any pitch they can, and it was Dragon Ball Evolution. So, you mean to tell me not only history repeats itself 15 years later with yet another writer strike, except this time around we got one good, decent anime adaptation. Again, this is kind of the food for thought I'm going to leave for the rest of the, for, for the review. So my overall thoughts on just the live action adaptation, I will eventually sit through the anime. Do not expect me to do a full series review because the show isn't complete yet. The manga isn't done yet. We're kind of in a Game of Thrones situation of we're waiting for the thing to end. And given that this is One Piece... Yeah, I'm just going to chop it up to just the top five arcs that I've heard so far over the fan dome. So that, that's probably going to be my follow-up for you for season two, if anything else. So that being said, my overall review of just, like I said, the live-action adaptation of One Piece from Netflix. Nine out of ten. I can't believe I said it. I, I don't know, maybe I'm just still bitter from what they did with, um, I don't know, the previous live-action Netflix adaptations like uh, Death Note and obviously... Uh, Cowboy Bebop, and with the bell out of the way, uh, what are your thoughts of this long overdue review? Uh, let me know in the comments down below, and wow, you're really saving yourself by the bell. Yeah, pretty much. Anchors down below, and uh, take care. Bye.